How's it going guys? Taki here, back with another skilling guide. Today we're going to be taking a look at 1 to 120 fishing. Welcome back. On screen you can find a list of all the things that I'm going to talk about in this guide. If you're new to my videos, you can find timestamps for everything that I'll go over in the description box below. Let's get into it. First, we're going to go over the gear and items that you will use to train fishing. Before I do that, I want to leave a little disclaimer here that fishing is significantly impacted by the things that you have unlocked and available to use, more so than probably any other skill in the game. Rates can fluctuate drastically depending on what you are using. Throughout this guide, I will tell you specifically what you need to get the rates that I list. There are two outfits that you can use to aid your fishing. The first is the fishing outfit, and this provides a 5% fishing XP boost, and it's awarded from the Fish Flingers D&D that I'll talk about later in this video. The second outfit is the Fury Shark outfit, and this was originally awarded through Treasure Hunter, but you can now obtain it from fishing. It provides a 7% chance to catching fish and a 10% chance to catch an extra fish that doesn't award extra experience. It inherits the fishing outfit boost. I'm going to be completely upfront with you because other guides aren't. If you don't already own any piece of the Fury Shark outfit, don't expect that you'll be able to make this until you're at least the mid 90s. You can't even get the fragments for this until you're level 70, and you can't make it with invention until you're level 80. And the fragments don't come in fast enough for you to be able to have this full set by the time you're in the 80s. There are three augmentable rods that you can use to aid you in your fishing. The first is the Rodomatic, and this requires level 22 invention. The second is the Crystal Fishing Rod, and it'll provide you a 5% chance to catch fish, but this has to be purchased with 3,000 Crystal Urchin points from the Prifdenis Waterfall. It also requires 90 strength, range, agility, and 93 fishing to be able to get this. And the last is the Tavius Rod, and this will give you a 10% chance of catching fish, along with a chance of proccing three deep sea fishing boosts. This item is extremely expensive, but it will provide you with the best XP in the game. For your perks, you're going to want to try to get Furnace 3 and Honed 5 on your rod, and you're going to want to have a Wise 3 offhand. Another big thing that you can purchase to boost your XP are Skill Champas. These are kind of expensive, but they provide you with a 5-10% to boost to XP, and also a 1-5% to chance to catch fish. While you are training fishing, you should pretty much always be using the highest tier fishing urn available to you. These will provide a 20% boost to XP. You can also purchase or create your own fishing accumulators with invention. This is a kind of expensive option to go with, as they cost around 60k at the time of making this video, but they are worth 2.5k fishing XP. You can also get another 5% boost to your total XP in the form of an urn enhancer if you've completed the quest Nomad's Elegy. Additionally, you should always be fishing with the highest tier summoning familiar available to you, whether it be the Granite Crab, the Ibis, or the Granite Lobster, for an invisible boost to fishing from level 1 to 4. If you're planning on grinding out fishing for a long time, you should consider purchasing a high tier of the Call of the Seas Aura. This will provide you with a 3-15% chance to catch fish depending on the tier that you purchase. Another slightly expensive option is the Whopper Baiting Scrimshaw, and this will provide you with a 15-20% to chance at getting some additional experience on a catch by catching a bigger catch. And if you don't have access to a Luck of the Dwarves and a Grace of the Elves, you can use a Ring of Whispers in your ring slot from the Sliske's Endgame, and that'll provide you with a 3-level boost to fishing. You should also always be fishing under the effects of a perfect juju fishing potion. This will last 1 hour and it gives you a 5% chance to catch fish. You should also be using a clan skilling boost of some type, and that'll provide you anywhere from 3-6% to boost to your total XP. You can also unlock Crystallize and Light Form if you've done the Light Within quest, and that'll give you 87.5% boost to fishing at certain spots. Depending on the type of fishing that you're planning on doing, it might be worth it for you to build an aquarium inside your player own house, along with a prawn broker. The prawn broker has two perks that will allow you to fish without bait, which is a nice benefit, but the aquarium gives you a bunch of decorations that you can use to boost your fishing XP gains in specific areas on the overworld. You can get a 2% XP boost in the Living Rock Cavern, Shiloh Village, and Otto's Grotto. If you need to boost your fishing level to be able to access something specifically, you can use an Admiral Pie for a 5 level boost, a Fishing Potion for a 3 level boost, a God Banner for a 2 level boost for 30 minutes, and a Fishing Cape for a plus 1 boost, along with a perk to be able to catch an extra fish. And if you can afford them, you should always be using a Grace of the Elves in combination with a Luck of the Dwarves. This will allow you to be able to roll on the rare drop table and have a chance of getting the Hell's Mirror Signet. The Grace of the Elves will also give you a really good boost to your profit when you're training fishing for money. Now let's talk about the dailies and minigames for fishing. The first thing on our list is the Fish Flingers D&D, and you're going to want to use the Fish Flingers FC for this. You're going to get a decent amount of experience by taking part in this, but you'll also be able to unlock that fishing outfit. You should also get into the habit of using Divine Bubbles every day at World 2 at Reset or Around Reset. If you have the Shared Knowledge perk, you can boost this a little bit. Divine Salmon is the best from 1 to 84, and then you should use Cavefish or Rocktail from that point on. 
The last one on this is the Giant Oyster, which is actually a monthly. You want to get in the habit of doing this every single month because it gives you a lot of fishing experience really fast. There are two mini games available to you. The first is Stealing Creation. You're going to want to use this if you want bonus fishing experience. You can use the FC Fast SC on World 99. And the second one is the Fishing Trawler. You're going to play this to be able to unlock the Shark's Tooth Necklace if you're planning on fishing on sharks or wabagongs and you can't afford a Grace of the Elves. Now let's cover the leveling route. From levels 1 to 20, you're going to want to fish crayfish near the Taverly Lodestone. This spot's really easy to get to since it's right on the starting area. If you want to make this a little bit faster and you don't care about losing the fish, you can put one of the fish on your action bar and you can drop it with a hot key. From level 20 to 52, you can start fly fishing. You can do this in Barbarian Village or Shiloh Village if you have it unlocked. Shiloh Village would be the better option because it's closer to a bank and you can also get that XP boost by putting in the decoration in your house. You can also continue to do this after level 52, but more on that later. If you are planning on power leveling through this, you are definitely going to want to put a raw trout and salmon on your action bar so that way you can drop a full inventory with ease. From 52 to 68 or to 94, you're going to want to be fishing in Menifoss in the Ports District, and this is going to require you to buy bait from the NPC north of this spot. You are going to also need to complete the Jack of Spades quest to be able to access this area. The Menifoss area is going to provide you with some really decent gains for fishing experience, along with a very convenient deposit box that you can unlock by progressing through your reputation in the Ports District. To be able to access the Ports District deposit box, you're going to need to get level 2 reputation in the Ports District, but to be able to get the best experience possible, you're going to need to get all the way to level 8 in the Ports District. You should have no problem grinding out this reputation while you're training your fishing, but if you want to boost it a little bit, you consider doing some of the quests inside Menifoss, or by joining the FC Soul Obby and doing Soul Obelisks. From 68 to 94, or all the way to 120, you can do the Swarm Fishing Spot, which is a really, really AFK way of training your fishing at decent XP rates, and it'll also provide you with a really nice boost to your income. You can access the Deep Sea Fishing Area by going to the Fishing Guild and teleporting with an NPC. The Swarm Fishing Spot is right next to a deposit location, but it's also likely that you will find a world where somebody has a deposit box located on the dock next to you, so you won't have to move far to go to a bank. If you're interested in seeing the type of profits that would be available to you by doing this, you can click on the card on your screen right now to go to a video that I've just recently made on my loot from 120 Fishing using the Swarm Fishing Spot. And if you want the best fishing experience possible in the game, you're going to want to head over to the Frenzy Fishing Area, which is right next to the Swarm Spot, and you can start this at level 94, and you can do this all the way to 120. If you have most of the things that I've detailed in the items and gear section of this guide, you should expect to get over 440k experience per hour. I've got some suggestions for the Frenzy Fishing Spot if you want to actually start doing this to be able to get some gains. If you have access to the Nightstone in your Skybox Filter or Eclipse, you're going to want to use those because it'll make the white spot stand out a lot better. You can see the difference between Eclipse and the Nightstone. The Nightstone makes everything except for those spots bright white. And if you use the regular lighting, it sometimes can be almost the same or blend in with the reflection of the water. Your XP in the Frenzied area is going to scale by 20% after you do 200 successful catches, and the time between these has to be almost exactly on point. They extended it a little bit since release, so it's a little bit more lenient than it used to be, but you're going to have to continuously keep clicking for the full hour to get the XP rates that I've mentioned. You can boost the rates a little bit if you do have the Tavius Rod, and if you're using Skill Champas like I've mentioned already. I tested this twice before making this guide. I was averaging between 440 to 450k XP per hour. I don't have the best rod in the game, so there is definitely room for improvement. Now let's talk about some alternate methods that you can use to train your fishing. First up, we have an old method that's still really good, and it definitely benefits from the 6% world boost that we now have to skilling from the clan avatar being replaced, and that's going to be C2 fishing. This will max out around 150k an hour, but it will require a lot of work. Getting started with this is really easy. When you start your dungeon, you're going to want to set it to C2 complexity, and then you're going to run through that dungeon trying to find fishing spots as soon as possible. You can also consider mixing this in with C2 woodcutting, which is a really, really good way of leveling woodcutting and fishing at the same time. From 93 plus, you can do Prif Dennis waterfall fishing, and if you use skill chinchampas and all of the other boosts that I've detailed in the beginning of this guide, you can max out at 240k an hour. There are three different tier fishing spots available to you in the waterfall area, starting at level 93 and going all the way to 97. The best experience won't be possible for you unless you get to 97 and you spend all of your points on lamps at the beginning of the waterfall area. 
At level 96, you can do Uncharted Isles fishing for 360k plus, but this is kind of more of a daily because you can only do it when you have Wabagon fishing spots open and it requires you to have a really good island that you have marked with a flag. Before you do this, you're definitely going to want to have a good island. You're going to want to have remote contacts to get contracts when you're here, and you're definitely going to want to put down Tortle Portal so you can traverse your island very quickly. Doing this with all of the boosts active is currently the best way of training fishing in the game AFK. If you're interested in seeing a full hour of this, I have a video of somebody else doing this in the description box below. From level 97, you can do Swift Sailfish for 200k an hour, although I don't recommend doing this because it's not AFK and it is less XP than you would get from just doing Frenzy Fishing at the exact same level. And finally, if you have the Light Within quest done, you can do Crystallized Fly Fishing in the Shiloh Village for 150k plus per hour. This is super easy and chill to do. All you have to do is click Crystallize on a fishing spot, and then you'll have 30 seconds to fish from that spot without gaining any resources. If you use the Lightform Prayer, you can boost your experience to 87.5%. That's the end of this one. If you liked the video, consider dropping a like below and subscribing to the channel if you aren't already. Feel free to check a look at one of the videos on screen now, and until next time, Taki out.